Hey, Mr. McLaren here. So we're going to be going over how to use the Tectonic Explorer to get examples of convergent, divergent, and transform boundaries. You know, this we're basically looking for uh, a different model showing the same thing here. Um, just kind of visualizing it a little bit differently. I think that this is a, a better model as well. <laughs> uh, oh, hold on. Let's go back to the start here. So if we've got this model going just as is, that's not super useful. I think that I'm going to want to turn on a few things and then maybe the plant boundaries as well. Yeah, that looks good to me. So if we're looking here, we have, you know, a lot of earthquakes, a lot of volcanoes going on right here. This is that first cross section um, of divergent plates here. So you can do a little screenshot of that and get that in there. So I'm just using my snip tool, but again, if you're on a Chromebook, you can, I've forgotten the exact buttons, but I have a link right here on how to take a screenshot that should show you how to take a screenshot. And then you're just going to insert those screenshots in here. Um, if the screenshot, you're not happy with how it's cropped, if you, I think like triple click, if you click three times, you can then like, oh, no, that's not it. You can then do some cropping. So you could be like, I only want that part of the image, right? So you could do that. I've already snipped this, so I'm not gonna do that. So I've got my, um, I think that was my divergent plate because they're di dividing, they're going away from each other, right? Um, if we look around here, I think I'm gonna need to rotate the camera to the back. If we look at the back here, those look like they're converging right there to me around 30, 40 years. Oh man, there's a lot of big earthquakes around there. Jeez, oh goodness. All kinds of action is happening there. Um, so this to here, yeah, this is a super clear, easy example of um, converging plates where one's getting pushed underneath the other one. Unfortunately, this is ocean though, so you're not seeing like any, any mountains or uh, things like that getting taken down, right? No giant crashing continents. So that looks pretty good to me. And so we'll try and get that in there. I think that was the convergence because they're coming together. And then this last one is kind of tricky. It's just two that are kind of moving next to each other. So I think that I kind of have that in here. Let's exit out of that cross section. I'm rotating. I think that I have that somewhere in here somewhere. Okay, that's pretty much going straight on that though. What about here? Yeah, they're kind of colliding there. You know, we could set up a whole one, new one if we wanted to for this one. I think that we're gonna have a hard time getting this as is. We could also just change the force direction. <laughs> We'd be like, yo, you're going this way now. And okay, yep. It's kind of going that way now. Okay, hold on. Did that just like move that that way? And that like kind of like added a push that way? So I can like basically push the plates. Okay, that's kind of weird. Can I? I'm just trying to make these go next to each other. Okay, I think I'm going to have to start like a new one. Uh, can I start like a new planet? How do I start a new planet? I give up on this planet. <laughs> I think I might just reload the whole thing. Yeah, let's just reload the whole thing to get a uh, a nice example of them going next to each other. We're just gonna do two plates, really super simple. Um, okay, we got that. We need to draw the continents. I'm gonna do figure eight this time. Um, and then force plates, we're gonna say one force is going that way and the other one's going that way. So they're kind of rubbing against each other and that should work. This is basically like more or less dense ones are gonna determine which one gets goes underneath. So for, for example, the um, the low density, this purple one should go on top of the green if they have that issue. Let's just kind of pause for a second. Have a look, see what, what have we got here. Okay, it looks like these things, they're kind of there's sometimes some magma, sometimes some volcanoes. It's kind of iffy, iffy to say exactly what's going on, but it's not, it's not as 
clear as the other ones which have the other much more um, prominent features. But I bet if we look at the earthquakes, I bet the earthquakes are just like out of this world. No? Oh, come on. No earthquakes? These don't really seem to be having issues anymore. Maybe let's, let's go back to the very beginning. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I have one force that's going up, another force that's going down. So I'd imagine these are going to be along these points, just kind of rubbing against each other a little bit. So let's have a look, see along. Let's also get those on. We can actually see that. If we look here, what do we have here? Yeah, it looks to me like this is not nearly as clear as to what's going on. It, they we're not seeing like that ridge line or anything. Not anything super, super like, oh, super like, there's no mountains that are being generated or anything like that, you know? But I think that this is a pretty good cross section. Now, it's not like, uh, it's not like making volcanoes like you see with like the divergent or the convergent as much. Yeah, like the big picture with these guys is that you're not going to see like volcanoes um, or mountains coming up because you're not having like plates come colliding and forcing some stuff to go up and you're not going to have like that ridge where magma is just constantly coming up generating new rock so it's kind of like the the in between right the the middle child if you will so yeah um that should be our uh transform plate boundary which if you remember from this it's basically just making a ton of earthquakes <laughs> and having some some topography kind of getting shifted over, but you don't really see that in the simulation. We got a convergent, divergent, and a tra transform plate boundary in the simulation. And if you want, you could go to, uh, for at least for these two, you could like go to the simulation and that time and look at the same point. I would challenge you to make your own and try and find it. It can be a little tricky though, so feel free to use the ones that I've made for you.